Children learn that the multiplication symbol means groups of or lots of. For the multiplication five times two, children can say five groups of two. This can be represented using objects such as counters or toys. Here children are learning that five groups of two is the same as two, add two, add two, add two, add two, which equals ten. So five times two equals ten. Alternatively, this could be represented on the number line using jumps. So here I start at zero and I count in jumps of two. This is the same as two, add two, add two, add two, add two. Five groups of two. It is important in multiplication that children understand they are making equal groups. So here I am drawing out the counters to represent three groups of five or three times five. I have to make sure there is the same in each group. Children understand the multiplication as also being the same as repeated addition, five, add five, add five. We can also show this using an array. Here I have represented two times five, two columns of five or two groups of five. I can now count in fives to show the answer. 5, 10. Arrays are also great at showing the commutative relationship between multiplication. So here I can also see this array as 5 times 2. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. 5 groups of 2. As part of multiplication, we also need to explore doubling and how it is linked. Doubling means two equal groups. So here we have two equal groups of three, or three add three, or double three. Children don't always have to use objects or pictures to help them find the answer. As children get more fluent, they can use their knowledge of counting in twos, fives and tens to help them. In this multiplication three times five, children can simply use their knowledge of counting in fives to help them. So children could count in fives, five, ten, fifteen. For ten times six, children could use their understanding of commutative relationships. Multiplication can be done in any order. As children haven't learnt their six times table yet, this may be tricky, but they do know that 10 times six is the same as six times 10. So they could just count in tens, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. 10 times six equals 60. Children need to understand the concept of sharing into equal groups. It is important that children complete this systematically. For example, in this problem, Max and Sophie need to share the eight sweets equally between them. Children need to share the sweets equally, ensuring that they give each teddy one sweet at a time. Eight shared between two is equal to four. Children can use a range of methods to solve these problems. For instance, they could draw pictures to represent the counters. Once children understand the concept of sharing, they will be introduced to the division symbol. Children can read 10 divided by 2 as 10 shared between 2, which can be represented like this. Or children could read it as 10 grouped into 2s. One advantage of using groups is that children can use their times table knowledge to help them. So here we could count in twos. Two, four, six, eight, ten. 
there are five groups of two. Here we have eight shared between two and we have shared eight into two groups and we have four in each group. Here we have eight grouped into twos, two, four, six, eight. There are four groups of two. We could also use the number line to represent this and we can count in groups of two until we get to eight. Two, four, six, eight. How can you support your child? Use opportunities around the house to practice counting in twos, threes, fives and tens. This could include counting socks in pairs or toys such as Lego towels, towers or counting change, two piece, five piece or ten piece. Practical opportunities can be used to reinforce division. Children could share sweets or food for a teddy bear's picnic. These are some songs that children may enjoy on YouTube.